Hey, I'm a mechanical engineer, and this is my one pound battle bot. In today's video, we'll more or less be completing the one pound battle bot series. So if you have not already seen the previous videos in the series, I highly suggest you go back and watch those first. And I say more or less completing the series because this battle bot is complete and ready to go. However, I could type a few loose ends here and there, but more on that further down the road. For now, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So to quickly recap, so far we have the body of the robot, the lifter mechanism, and of course the servo inside that lifts the lifter mechanism. And at the moment I have a very simple front lifter on it. I have plans to build a better lifter for it, but this will work for the time being. For today's video, we'll be focusing on getting this BattleBot up and operational. So let's begin. One of the most important things every robot needs, if not the most important, is a good set of drive motors. Here I have a 12 volt 200 RPM geared motor that I picked up off Amazon for a couple bucks. Since it is only 200 RPM, that means that it favors torque over speed, but even so, it still has a decent rate of propulsion. In addition to the motors, I also picked up these little mounting boxes that are just made to make it a little bit easier to mount the motors. I then took two of these motors, wired leads to them, and glued them back to back, then mounted a Lego tire to each motor. And once everything was finished, it ended up looking like this. I'm now going to go ahead and bolt this whole assembly into the robot using the mounting holes that were provided. Just like this. And with the motors now mounted in place, it's time to throw in some speed controllers. Here I have two brush speed controllers that I soldered together at the battery connector. They also originally came with two external switches that I removed and soldered the two base wires together. Now although these speed controllers may not be the best for the job, they were made for an RC boat. They do work quite well and it's what I had on hand so I figured why not use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the output of one of the speed controllers to the output of one of our motors and then the output of the other speed controller to the other motor. I'll then take my receiver and plug in both speed controllers into the slots that I want to control them through. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and plug in my servo into the slot I want to control it through. Now I'll go ahead and pack everything into the robot, maybe using a little bit of electrical tape to ensure nothing moves. Just like that. And lastly, I'll take my 11.1 volt 500 milliamp battery, plug it into the speed controller's connector that I soldered together earlier, drop the battery into the robot, close up the lid, and test it. Okay, it seems to operate well. Now let's see how much power is behind it. Here's about a pound and a half roll of duct tape. Well, it pushed it pretty easy. Let's see if it can flip it. Seems to work pretty well, but now can it flip itself over? And it can. However, it didn't used to be able to. That's why I added on these three pieces of plastic on the back and the two sides, just to give it a little bit of something extra to throw it over. Cause now even if we slowly try to turn it onto its side, it'll roll over to its top and we can flip it over. But now for one last flipper test, let's see if it can flip Batman. However, I highly doubt it will be able to. Set Batman right there on the front and Whoa, I think I speak for all of us when I say there's no further need to test the lifter. I, I think it's proved itself. But lastly, how much does this robot weigh? One pound is roughly 450 grams and this robot weighs in at 387 grams. So that puts us in at approximately 60 grams underweight, which is a good thing because now we have a little bit to play around with if we want to put on a new front plow or something like that. And as you can see, this robot is by no means perfect just yet, but it is good enough for now because I have my first fight coming up in less than a week. I'm gonna fight my cousins at a family reunion. Yes. And the footage of that fight will probably be next week's video, so stay tuned for that. But as soon as I get back, there are two things that I'm desperately wanting to change about this robot. Number one, I want to build a larger, more protective front plow and maybe have it even wrap around to the sides a little bit. Just something to help protect against spinners and allow me to box rush them. And number two, I want to build a better body so I don't have to have these side fins to help me flip over. Or at the very least, I want to replace these side fins with metal pieces so they can't get cut off. But with that being said, I'm still happy with the robot and looking forward to the fight. 
And there you have it, the more or less completion of my one pound battle bot. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll really not see you next Friday. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.